Hi, I'm Libby at Touch of Happiness Massage School. Welcome to today's video where we are talking about premature ejaculation and some practical, simple tips on how you can last longer during sex and intimacy. So premature ejaculation, or PE for short, is one of the most common issues that my male clients bring to sessions. Um, it can affect men at any age, but research is showing that it's actually on the rise in younger men, so men under 30. Typically, uh, PE is more affected by mental and emotional factors than it is physiological ones, but it's a good idea to have those things checked out. So things like having your prostate checked, monitoring your blood pressure, um, addressing any underlying causes, things like uh, you, whether you're a smoker or not, uh, your weight, how much alcohol you take in. Having this more uh, holistic approach to your, your general health and well-being, things like uh, getting enough exercise, whether you have a sedentary or active lifestyle, uh, medications that you're taking, your general stress levels, uh, and also um, your use of or dependence on porn as the kind of main gateway to arousal and pleasure. Addressing all those things um, is going to be a, as helpful uh, a solution to PE as any focused um, or targeted uh, practical exercises that you can do. So make sure that your underlying health is good and that you are addressing physiological factors. So to give you a starting point, some surprisingly simple tips and tricks uh, to use. Here is my guide to working with PE. It's based on my work with over a thousand men in the past five years, as well as my personal experiences with tantric partners and lovers. The most foundational aspect of having more choice around your ejaculatory response is relaxation. Learning to relax the most habitual and ingrained patterns of tension and tightness in your body will allow you to have more choice around how your body responds to stimulation. So learning to relax requires you to be aware of tension and this needs you to have some body awareness. So this can be practiced through things like embodied meditation, dance, movement, yoga, martial arts. You may also like to download my body scan meditation. The link is in the comments, um, which will help you with this kind of practice. Now, this is not a quick fix. This takes uh, time and practice. So I really encourage you to engage in these body awareness practices. So here are six simple and practical tips that you can incorporate into your partnered or solo sex right now, but make sure that you're also doing all those foundational things that I've talked about so far. Breathe. It may sound simple, but most people, when they are reaching the peak of arousal or that point of no return, or just generally throughout sex and masturbation, they're not breathing very deeply. It's this shallow, kind of restricted breath. A lot of people tend to have uh, patterns of holding their breath as well. So a simple, tool that you can use in the moment is a deeper, longer, more conscious breath. You may like to try inhaling through your nose and then exhaling through your mouth. You'll notice that my exhale was a little bit longer than my inhale 
We call this a down-regulating breath. It helps to calm and slow down the nervous system, which is exactly what you want when your arousal levels are coming up a little bit higher. So simple awareness of breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Unclench. It may be the exact opposite of what you think you should do at that point, but uh, most guys tend to hold a great deal of tension in their butt, their thighs, their pelvic floor, their lower belly um, and their jaw. So just be curious uh, next time you are in partnered sex or masturbating and your arousal levels are creeping up, just see if you can let go through those big muscle groups. Um, that will allow your sexual energy, your arousal to move and be spread through your nice, soft, relaxed body rather than being kind of pushed and forced out of your body. Slow down. There is no finish line, so you don't need to be in a hurry. If you're having partnered sex, you can just plug in and hold there, connect to that deeper breath and be present with each other. You can guide your partner gently to slow down their touch or movements. If you're having solo sex, if you're masturbating, pause and just tune into this kind of subtle layer of sensation with stillness, really small stroking or gentle touch. A good kind of mantra to hold is however slow you think you're going, try and go 20% slower. Change position. Uh, whether you're masturbating or having partnered sex, if you're edging and your arousal levels are coming up a little bit higher, then simply standing up or changing position will help you to redistribute the awareness in your body. Having your feet on the floor and your knees slightly bent uh, is also great for just kind of sending the attention and the uh, energy down um, so that you're kind of grounding and settling your body. Self-touch. Um, now this is really relevant to the in the moment experience, whether you're with a partner masturbating but it also needs to be something that you do as a separate practice so by this I mean touch your whole body give yourself massage that isn't related to uh, sex or masturbation spreading um, your touch through your body when you're having sex or when you're masturbating is a great way to move attention and focus away from your genitals. So that might be just touching your arms, it might be kind of bringing some connection up into the, the chest, it might be the back of the body, the thighs. By doing this you are stimulating different neural pathways and not overstimulating the pudendal nerve, uh, which is the main nerve that innervates the tip um, and shaft of the penis. So you're actually bringing your um, bringing yourself different access to pleasure and not overstimulating that one root. Anal play becoming familiar uh, with stimulation and sensation around the external anal sphincter as well as penetration and prostate massage is essential in teaching your pelvic floor muscles to relax. If your pelvic muscles are chronically tight, overworked and unable to relax, you are not going to be able to have as much choice around your ejaculatory response as you want. Um, chronically tight pelvic floor muscles can also uh, place pressure on the pudendal nerve, uh, which can trigger the ejaculatory response. So 
become familiar with your asshole, integrate um, massage and play into your regular masturbation practice. You can check out my uh, separate video on anal massage for some guidance on how to do that. So I hope that you found the video useful and that you can put these six simple tips as well as the foundation principles uh, to good use in your partnered sex and your masturbation. Ultimately, more choice around your ejaculatory response comes from having more connection and awareness of your body. So if you want to know more ways that you can do that, you can get in touch. My website is www.touchofhappiness.co.uk and my email address is elizabeth at touchofhappiness.co.uk.